My best friend forgot my birthday two years in a row. Is she really my best friend if she forgot my birthday two years in a row? Birthday cake. I was quarantined out of state last year, but my female best friend forgot my birthday. It was a crazy COVID year. I get it. It's my birthday today and I am back home for the holidays out of town again. So far, no text or phone call. No voice messages or shout outs on social. I have other friends who have actually saved my birth date and have wished me happy birthday already. Sure. There's time left in the day but with the two time zone difference I highly doubt it. She texted me, but it was about something else. I have guy best friends, but I don't give a shit if they text me. I'm just so close to her and we've gone through so much together. Too long did not read. My BFF forgot my birthday two years in a row and deciding if I should drop the best out of friend. Is it a double standard? Is she really my best friend if she forgot my birthday two years in a row? Edit. Clarification. As I've mentioned in my other comments, she's the only one because of the things we've gone through. I have as many good female friends as male friends and I could care a rat's ass about whether they wished me happy birthday. Conclusion. Thank you our community for all the feedback. Greatly appreciated. I will stop responding now as the responses are pretty much the same now. There's consensus around the following. Things I've learned today. People are forgetful AFB days aren't a big deal to most if it's important to me. Let her know or give a heads up it's petty AF let it go if she's a great friend in all the other aspects then that's all that matters him a little dramatic there is a small cohort who does think that she must not be that great of a friend if she does forget. If this is the only issue with the friendship, then you may have to accept that she's just not good about remembering birthdays. That alone doesn't mean she isn't a friend worth having. Decide if she's a good friend or not based on the totality of how she treats you, and give the friendship the energy you think it deserves. But whether or not you call her your best friend seems like high school level drama. I'll say for myself I'm bad with birthdays, I have to get my own mother to remind me of hers or I will completely forget, not making excuses for her, but there are people like that out here. Don't take it personal. Yeah this is silly. My partner has like 10 close friends. He got maybe two personal birthday wishes. He didn't care cause he doesn't have those friends around him so he can be celebrated, he has them because they love each other and do stuff for each other and are there when shit hits the fan. People forget things. It's no big deal. Do you use social media? No matter how much Reddit hates it it has made keeping track of these things much easier and if you aren't adopting it then these are the sorts of things that will probably happen. Society is much faster paced these days and people's networks are far broader than they have ever been before keep track of things like birthdays is just not a high priority for most people if it's already being done for them in other ways. I can't remember what I ate last night let alone my own mother's birthday. It's not a deal unless you make it one. Some petty crap my aunt does, it's not an issue. Don't make it one. I've been hurt about the same thing. Especially given that another one of this friend's other good friends had the same birthday as me, and I'm pretty sure he would get some kind of notification about the other friend's birthday. Just another two cents, I am like this too and was devastated by best friends missing my birthday last year. We are in pandemic times and increased forefront and latest stress can make us forgetful. I was sad my best friend forgot my birthday but then ended up calling me and wishing me a happy birthday, so it's okay op. They still likely love you back. I don't give a damn about birthdays. Perhaps your friend is like that. It gets annoying to care about others' birthdays when you don't care about your own. My best friend's birthday is literally seven days after mine, and in the 28 years we've been friends he's forgotten it 26 of the 28 years. I give him shit about it every time. But he just sucks with dates. It's certainly not enough for me to stop being friends. I forgot about my friend's birthdays too. They were upset too. I blame my busy lifestyle and my ADHD for this. I will remember days before the birthdays but on the day itself I'll forget until it's 11pm and obviously disrespectful to even wish for any more so I just completely avoid it. Sometimes I'd have saved the birthdays and other times my calendar wouldn't sync so I won't get notifs. Also I never really check dates anymore. I just go oh is it Monday or Friday. That's it. Loudly crying. She's your friend but not best friend. I don't remember a single one of my friend's birthdays, not any of them, it's just not something I consider important, nut then birthdays are not really important to me. Maybe you just hold birthdays is more important than she does. Or maybe you think of her as a better friend than she thinks of you. Could be either, but also why do you need to have a best friend, just seems like a pointless label to me. If your relationship with her is good on all other parts then there shouldn't be a problem. 
It sounds like you are being just a tad bit arrogant on your part, especially at 30 years of age. I'm in my 20s and my friend group just tells each other when our birthdays are coming up, and what we'd like to do on our birthdays. You are an adult, if your friend is as close as you say you guys are, there's no reason you can't take initiative and shoot her a reminder. She has her own life I'm sure. I'm 38 and I don't plan birthday outings for friends. Are you both single? Generally, at this age what I see most of people's spouses arranging plans or bringing it up to a group chat and single people make their own plans and invite friends. I'm impressed. I have very few people who remember my birthday. If this is the smallest thing, I'd say move on. Some are bad with dates. I have a terrible memory but I have a vague idea of my BFFS birthday at least. Maybe suggest they use a calendar if it's important or remind them leading up to your birthday. Eek. I did this to my friend, two years in a row, except her B-day is April. It tears me up inside. I'm ashamed so it just compounds the issue, I definitely don't deserve her and wish she would yell at me because I deserve it. I feel like every year her B-day falls on some unpredicted crisis, but that's not a good excuse. People make mistakes, but you deserve to be around someone that cares about you. If she's worth it, then talk to her. I'm female and my best friend is male, we have been best friends for 30 years, and we never forget each other birthdays. If she is your best friend she should remember. Is she going through depression? That really does a number on your typical behaviors. I'd reach out and ask her how she's doing. You might be the only one doing so. I've had a best friend for roughly 20 years and I still don't remember his birthday. Nor he mine. Your level of self-importance is through the roof. If she cared about your birthday, she'd have remembered it and texted you. Being forgetful isn't an excuse, as we now have these things called smartphones where you can make notes and set reminders for literally anything. It's also possible to set it as a recurring event, so that it will remind you every year. I get why people are saying to let it go if everything else is good, but also, regardless of whether it is personally important to her, if you guys know each other so well, shouldn't she know that your birthday is important to you? IDK. Does she not even use Facebook where it tells you someone's birthday? Wow. I was born the day before a major holiday. I have never had even one friend remember my birthday. I usually get in, oh, I forgot your birthday with all the holiday stuff going on. Sorry, happy birthday. You know what I found out from that? Birthdays don't mean anything. Be happy you have friends and quit being so self-centered. I could have handled the birthday issue two different ways. One get all upset every year that people forgot or two, shrug and smile and not worry about it. I took the second path. The only people who wish me a happy birthday these days are people I haven't seen in decades and a handful of friends and family. Just remind them. I don't remember birthdays because there's so much I have to remember. Don't come up with silly tests for people to prove they care. Sorry but I can't remember my children's birthdays and I love them dearly. You're 35. People have lives grow up. I don't care about birthdays that much but I know they are important to some of my friends. I make the effort to remember their birthdays, wish them and get them something small. She could make an effort for her best friend, Imo. Just stop calling them your best friend and bam. Problem solved. I dunno, my birthday was one of the first in my friend's circles to be pandemic birthday and I was completely not expecting anything but my friends really made the day special by delivering things to me. That said, I think I'd more or less let them know beforehand that I like celebrating my birthday and was bummed about the pandemic, at the start, before we all knew we were all gonna have a pandemic birthday. If you let her know and she doesn't have a great reaction to you letting her know, then you know where you stand. That's totally normal. Me and my best friend always forget each other's birthday. Maybe it's because we're guys. I couldn't remember a birthday to save my life. As in, I forget my own kids' birthdays a lot. Not the actual event because they'll remind me constantly that it's coming up tears of joy but if people ask me their birth dates, I really have to think about it sometimes. Doesn't mean I don't absolutely adore my kids and I care about my extended family and friends. I'm not going to ever consistently remember their birthdays though. Glad no one had rejected me because of that. I hate my B-day, so I forget B-days. It has to do with imposter syndrome. Sorry, my own brother forgot my birthday two years in a row. My sister this year tears of joy. In the past I would get deeply hurt and mad when a friend forgot to send me a birthday message. But one time it happened to me too. Something I've never thought would be possible. This changed everything and I don't mind anymore. Life can get busy and you just forget. My best friend hasn't congratulated me in years since I don't like my birthday at all. 
How does she knows exactly? Because I told her so, of course. And even though I do forget every year which day exactly is her birthday and have to rely on Facebook to know, we have been friends for more than a decade, I do congratulate her because she has told me it is important to her. Now, wouldn't be better to talk with her about it instead of here. Don't get me wrong, but you are a 35 years old adult. It was very difficult to remember that while reading your replies, honestly speaking. My husband thinks my birthday is in March. He's literally months off. But hot damn he's an amazing partner who gives so much and I'm so happy to be with him. If he knew it mattered he'd figure a way to remember. Communicate to you that it really really matters. Give your a heads up 10 days before. My parents always forget my brother and my birthdays, but it doesn't mean they love us any less. Heck, they even forget their own birthdays, they usually only find out when one of their kids calls or brings a cake. I forgot my mother's birthday one year. She forgot mine the next year. It hasn't happened again for either of us. Or the grandkids. Now if I could only get him to remember to thank her for the card, gift, etc. I don't even know my best friend's birthday, I know the month though, and I had her astrology sign wrong for the longest time. Doesn't mean that I don't love her, just that I'm a mess of a human being. Days before your B-day next year tell her to save your birthday in her calendar. Joe can say you forgot my birthday, save it for next time. As an adult, I only expect people to remember my birthday if I tell them it's coming and ask them to celebrate it with me. With the exception of my mother, really. My siblings forget sometimes too. I don't have my birthday on Facebook, so there is no reminder to pop up. That's 90% of how people remember your birthday. And your dob is identifying information used to verify your identity, so you really should take it off your social media. If it's important to you, you have to communicate that to her. If you remind her, and ask her to celebrate with you in some way. If she brushes you off or is reminded that day and ignores you, then be upset. I have my friend's birthday saved in my Apple calendar but I only check my Google calendar for my work. I keep forgetting my friend's, brother's, mom's b-day. Even I don't give a fuck when my friends forget about mine. I am at that age where I literally want the least people to know about my b-day and make less deal out of it. Last year I had three people wish me. That was the best b-day for me. If it is so important to you, you should make plans on a weekend for her to remember it. Some people are good friends but kinda clueless. My mom forgets my birthday so do my siblings. I'm so puzzled by people that go crazy about birthdays in their adulthood. Like it's just a day, what does it even matter? Tears of joy woman face palming medium light skin tone. This exact situation happened to me. She also would forget to invite me to parties. But I was her closest confidant and vice versa. It was so confusing and hurtful at the time. Eventually I stopped referring to her as my best friend and have now have accepted we are simply old friends who will always have a special bond, but we are not BFFs anymore. Have you ever told her that your birthday means a lot to you and it hurt you that she forgot last year? My perspective. 1. Yes this is absolutely a double standard. We are taught from a young age to give guys a break and expect more out of females, for no other reason than their gender. And it appears like you're still doing it. 2. I don't think this one thing defines your relationship. If you ultimately know that your friend values you, your well-being, and is there for you and I wasnt blown off with any plans I'd made to celebrate, then I don't think I would care. However, if this is one of several indicators where she seems to not care about you, then that's different. If you haven't already, I'd talk to her about it and tell her you're hurt and hear her out. But I wouldn't doubt a friendship over someone forgetting what day it is. Before just dropping her suddenly, why don't you approach her and say something like, hey it's my birthday, let's go out and celebrate, and when you meet up, if you still feel like she's the same friend as usual, then keep the friendship. Or if she says, nah, too busy, or if she shows up but just talks about herself and her problems, rather than celebrating your day, then you can cut it. Then just remember that even if you consider someone your best friend, it doesn't mean they consider you as their best friend. In fact, the guy best friends and other friends that you are dissing even after they wished you a happy birthday, might think of you with more priority and respect than she does.